my youtube channel so in this video we are going to restore my hair because as you all can see i bleached my hair so let me tell y'all right now i hate my hair i hate that i colored it i regret that i colored it but i have looked up a lot of videos on how to restore this so one thing i did notice with coloring my hair is that it's so dry oh my gosh the my hair is already dry my hair my hair was already damaged to begin with so everybody gonna look at me like well why the hell did you, did you bleach your hair because i needed a change and as y'all can see baby this is a change so first of all this this color is so much different than what i had before because my hair was darker i had did it honey blonde and this is ginger blonde so Anyways, long story short, I did notice since I bleached my hair like this super light color. Can y'all see how light this is? Since I did it this, this freaking light, I can see how freaking dry it is. Like, And another reason why I am... So, let me show y'all what I'm doing. I am doing, doing this... This... A P H, yes, Alpha John, whatever, over G, and then I have this. Can I focus? Boom. So I have the two-step treatment, the shampoo, and the moisturizer. So I watched a lot of videos where people got their hair, where they they got their hair bleached, and then they used that, and boom, their hair was back to normal. So I wanted to name a few things that I did notice with my hair since bleaching it. My curls are not the same. OMG. Like, it's so crazy because they're really not the same. Like, I can tell by my black, my black hair when I did wash and goes, my curls would be separated. Like, when I do wash and goes, one thing I did notice is that my curls are not the same. With my black hair, my curls used to like, they used to give curls like they used to be separated and when i'm when you when my wash and go you can see each curl with this i did my wash and go and this is how it came out what what look at this look this was a wash and go well that was like four, four days ago but still like the last four days after that fail i just like been like plaiting it down and then take it out in the morning but my hair is so much more drier and i don't like it like oh my gosh i hate it like this morning my hair was super cute this looks a mess by the time i left the house like this was a mess so um that's what this video is about i'm going to try that shampoo out try that three step was well, really two step i'm gonna try those three things on my hair and hopefully my hair is comes back to in rejuvenate 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 yeah and hopefully i like it but right now how we standing i'm going back to my black because this is just when they i know they said that when you bleach your hair it's a lot of work it's a lot of maintenance i know that i read that i watched it multiple times but when you actually are in the situation and you know how your hair was like it is it's a lot of freaking work but i am happy that i did it because i always said before i die i wanted to dye my hair and i did it so bucket list check i can always go back and say i dye my hair i bleach my hair boom now that's what this video is going to consist of i'm gonna get on here i'm not going to record me um i'm sorry my son is right here but um i don't think i'm gonna record me washing my hair but I'm gonna get on here each time and show you guys how my hair looks and how it feels how the product feels on my hair and then um so next week i am getting a silk press i said if i bleach my hair i want to i want i want to see it straighten at least my hair is already damaged it was damaged before bleach so why not damage it more <laughs> ah, that's so bad and so toxic don't follow my my 
but I want to do it. Like I'm in this mindset where like I love my hair, but I'm over my hair. If that makes sense. I've been natural for six years and my hair has stayed the same length. It cannot grow. And I don't, I know why, but I care. I don't know what it is. I think I just, I think I'm a lazy natural. That's really what it is. I'm a lazy natural, but I like doing hair. I think I just have so much of it and it's so thick. But my head is too big for me to just go bald. So, I don't know. Um, I think this is the plan. The plan is for me to do this. This treatment. Get my hair a little back intact, I guess, a little bit. And then twist it up. And then, because today is Friday. So, it'll be twisted up Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And Wednesday is my appointment to um, get it silk pressed. So I wanted to do this protein before I get a silk press at least a week before because at least my hair will get that treatment from myself first and then obviously it's going to get heat. The thing what I don't like about being natural is that these past six years, I literally don't blow dry my hair. I only get a silk press once a year and my hair still ended up damaged. I never bleached my hair. My hair still ended up being damaged right here. Like... So I was just like, why not bleach it then? If it's already going to be damaged from me not doing everything that I want to do with it, why not bleach it? So, yeah, my hair, my hair was shedding before. I never cut my ends. I got my ends cut last time I did a silk press. So it's just a lot of things that I just wish that I could do with my hair. I wish my hair was it's versatile, but you really have to make sure that your hair is healthy or whatever. And that's just not me right now. So... Um, yeah, so next week, Wednesday, I'm supposed to be getting a silk press. I am getting a silk press. So we're going to see how well my hair takes to that. And honestly, if it is bad, if my hair falls out, I plan on cutting it into a blunt bob and I want it straightened. So I think I may relax it if it becomes super, super bad. So we shall see. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, but I'm kind of hyped now because I've been putting I've been putting off this protein treatment. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. What if my color go down the drain? But now I'm like at a point where I don't even give a damn because at this point my hair is I don't like my hair. I don't like it in a wash and go. I and then I did freaking perm rods and flexi rods in my hair. Failed. I don't know if it was just too much moisture. I think well, I do have um what is it called? High porosity hair. So I can get a lot of moisture in my hair fast, but it also escapes fast. So it's so freaking hard to keep my hair moisturized. And then when it is moisturized, like how it feels now is very sticky and greasy because I put so much product on it to make sure it stays hydrated and more um, moisturized. So I'm kind of just over this natural stuff to be honest so I'm about to do this protein um stuff and then I am going to vlog hope I may message the hairstylist and see if I can vlog um her doing my hair I think it'll be good content even though even if I get a lot of views on it or not I feel like it's a lot it's it's good for business so hopefully she let me vlog it but um I am going to record that even if she don't let me record in the room I'll just show y'all how it turned out and I'll vlog before that day so y'all can see like the process and afterwards or whatever. But yeah, so if all fails, I am going to cut my hair in a bob and it's going to be straight. I'm going to relax my hair. So who gives a flying woods? It's 2023 and I have been natural for six years and you know what? I am quite frankly over it. I'm over being the the great natural person that don't put heat on my hair and I don't get silk presses every three months. I've been damn good, hell. And then I still get punished. I moisturize my hair, I wash my hair, condition it. Deep conditioning is probably where I failed at because, and the trims, because I don't really cut my hair and the trims is horrible. And I used to always put my hair in a puff, which is horrible because it was really like, um, uneven and super dry up here. So ever since my stylist told me that last time when I got a silk press, she was like, you wear a lot of ponytails, don't you? I was like, I do. She was like, I can tell. So ever since she told me about that, I really stopped wearing ponytails and like slit backs and stuff like that because that is really what breaks your hair off. So 
let's get into the video i'm so sorry that that was a little too long but i had to say that because your girl is not feeling this hair i love the color i love the color but i was a little pissed off with the color because i left it on there quite a long time and why is my roots black so anyway let's get into this i'm gonna wash this hair and i'm gonna i'll be back to show y'all what it looked like peace Okay, so I poured this much in it. Hopefully it's supposed to look like this. Y'all think it's supposed to look like this? I should never got a little bottle, but I can always buy more. I just wanted to get a little bottle just so I could see how it works on my hair first. But yeah, so this is how my hair looks at the shampoo. And on the bottle it says, apply this without um i still got shampoo on the back of my head oops hopefully my head don't fall out um but on the bottle it says make sure you do this on damp hair my hair looks so bright okay because it is oh sis all right let's get started my hair feels so stringy oh my gosh this is horrible i'm sad so so sad baby so so sad so so after after you spray this on your hair you have to wait until it gets hard apparently so let's detangle first because I want to get this this spray on every ounce of my hair and the better way to do that, so y'all can see a little length check. So my hair stops about right there where my nipples are. So let's get started. I'm scared. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm like, hmm. I don't know what it smells like. All right. Can I brush it out? Oh, no. oh this don't get hard quick. Okay, let's not brush it. Don't do what I just did. It get hard quick. So, uh, okay. Well, that side is done. It got really hard. I don't know why that's so hard so so fast. The videos I watched, it got, it got hard. Like, it didn't get hard that fast. Okay. And you see, that let me know I got a lot on my hand. I'm just going to detangle it because I want to make sure it get on every strand. So, you see my curls coming through. So, they weak. They... My hair is, oh my God, it does make it feel so stringy. Very, very stringy. I don't like this feeling, but whatever. Okay. I mean, I need to spray some more on this side of hair. Right. So we're gonna do this side. I don't really know what to say this smells like. Oh my god, my hair feels horrible. I tell you that, my hair feels horrible. But y'all could see my curls. Y'all see that? Look at that. You can literally see my curls. But my hair wouldn't even do that when it was in this when I did my wash and goes. And if it did, it did it in that moment and then afterwards it was a mess. A pure mess. Look at that. Uh, 
You really have to be gentle with this. Like, I'm glad I actually went through with this because I was gonna, I was just going to wait until Wednesday and just go ahead and get myself pressed. At least doing this, my hair had at least a chance of getting some type of TLC before putting heat to it. <clears throat> See, this is the hardest part for my hair, for me to get my hair, is the back, the back and that middle part. The back and that middle part. You can hear how she, look at it, ugh. It's making me cringe how it makes me feel right now. How I was feeling. And then I can hear how crunchy it is. Tell you one thing, this stuff dries so fast. And I can tell that by it being on my hand while I'm grabbing a new section, that it's, it's getting hard. It's making this harder. But then again, I normally detangle my hair um, with a moisturizer on it, and then I detangle it after I shampoo it. So this is my first time detangling my hair without putting something on it. So that's kind of why I probably feel like that too. Alright y'all, I don't want my camera to turn off when I record a lot, so I'm going to come back and um, once I'm done. Okay y'all, so I just came out of the dryer. I had the hoodie dryer on and then I took it off and just blow dried it and now look at my look. It's hard as a brick. Like. My neck is sticky. Please keep that in mind. Wherever you get this stuff spray at, you're going to be sticky. Like, I'm getting in the shower after this. My whole face is sticky as hell. My back, my neck, look at that. It's sticky. It's very, very sticky. So, ugh. But as y'all can see, my hair is stiff. It's still kind of wet in other places, but um, it said two minutes, so I waited two minutes. And this is what I got in two minutes, so... I'm going to rinse this out um, and then I'm going to do the moisturizer one and then I'll be back with the finished product on how my hair is soft and if it gets soft. Um, so yeah, just want to get on here and show y'all how hard it is and it is very sticky. So keep that in mind when you're doing this, okay? I'm back. So let's see. Let's see if the height was hyping <laughs> if the hype was hyping about these products mm. my hair is soft my hair is soft I can't see that um it smells really good that moisturizer stuff I think I need to just do this for my whole head. Mm. 
Yeah, see, I'm not used to doing this for my hair. I'm used to it just curling and me not having to do this for each curl. All right, y'all. So I am back. This is my last update. So after the shampooing, the two step, and the moisturizer, um, I feel like it did a really good job. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is damaged right here in this area. You see how big these curls are at the bottom. So about like four or five strands. Of damage and it's damage right here but for the most part my curls are back and this is how my curls were with my black hair now will it stay like this <clears throat> I don't know but this is how it looks let me look too yeah this is how it looks can y'all see this is how my hair looks after shingling it. And I had to shingle it. It has a lot of body in it, as you can see. Um, it looks good. Um, so I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should start blow drying my hair. Um, I don't know, because I feel like when I don't blow dry my hair, it, um, it lose the curl. So I don't know. What do y'all think? I think it looks pretty good. Um, how it looks right now, I'm thinking that the shampoo and stuff really worked. Um, because when I did my wash and go before, it was so... But then again, I didn't shingle. It was... I can't describe it. It just... They didn't... You see how my curls are like separate? Like, and you can see each curl. They weren't, it wasn't like that before. So I don't know if it's because I shingled it this time or what. I just don't be having time to sit there and shingle each one of my curls. But it does look better when you do that. When you do do that. So I don't know. Maybe I have to do that more often. Don't know. Really don't want to. But this is my hair so I was also thinking about cutting my hair to like my bangs since this is already damaged I don't know but this is how it turned out and yeah so, so these are my curls. don't forget to like share and subscribe and now would I recommend this these products, I would. I would definitely be using this after I get my silk press. I'm going to use this to bring my hair back as well after I do my silk press. So I definitely would use that again. I just would. I know not to do this before I take a shower. I mean, after I take a shower. I definitely would do this before. I normally wash my hair in the shower. But I will definitely do this before I take a shower. I am so sticky. I'm about to get in the shower. But that's it for this video. If you like this video, even if you did not, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on my next one. Peace.